Attica from the Attica World Network here, and when it comes to Shantae being in Smash Brothers with the Smash Ballot, it was amazing how much response she got. Like, I remember reading the responses in terms of the comments, and everyone loved the idea of Shantae being in the game. Considering that she's such an old character on the Nintendo platform as well, too, everyone was excited behind that concept, and she seems to like she stayed fresh throughout the times, and her games are still entertaining to this day from what I hear, so Shantae would have been a great addition for the Smash Ballot. We do apparently have evidence that Shantae may just be in this bitch, but just before we look into that, let's just look at some of the reaction that we got from Shantae being like speculated. A lot of people loved it, and right now, as you can see here on my YouTube page, Shantae's video where she's like pretty much pushed forward by um, the development company to be in Smash Brothers has 118,000 views, more than me playing hentai on stream, which was extremely fun, by the way. I'm trying to figure out where I can stream hentai games without any issues, any streaming site. Please let me know any site that I can stream hentai games without a problem in the comments below because having the gameplay and playing it with you guys while you're telling me what to do is fucking so fun. It's so fun. Anyways, this is not about hentai with Dedica. This is about Shantae being in Smash Brothers. So if we go to this article right here about the Smash Boards, they talk more in detail about how Way Forward, excuse me, um, how Way Forward is coming is um is speculating that she might be in the game and how they may have made a comment which kind of may reveal her to be in the game i don't know though this will be up for you guys to decide as everything is mostly up to interpretation but let's take a look at exactly what the smash boards is talking about um and of course you guys have to know who smash boards is a great place to get started if you don't know anything about smash brothers they have great tutorials they are very informative and they can even help you find local tournaments in your scene that totally sounds like they sponsored me to say that but i mean they didn't that's just what smash boards is it's a great website and i highly suggest you go on there if you are in to Smash Brothers stuff like that. It's really good for finding the tournaments in your area. Anyways, so let's take a look at exactly what the Smash Boards was referencing here. They even used my video thumbnail that I made, that I put together. I didn't make it. I like the art was taken from Shantae's alternate costumes from Smash, and then I um, used, you know, the whole vote for Shantae thing and I put it together with the Smash logo. So I didn't make that, but I mean still the thumbnail that I compiled, they even used that. It's a pretty cool thumbnail though. But anyway, so um, Smash Boards here. Let's see exactly what information they highlighted. Some of you may have seen this already. I saw it myself already, so I'm just breaking down the information for you guys. So earlier today, WayForward's creative director, Mark, I mean, excuse me, Matt Bozon, tweeted out something quite interesting, and it, it definitely is interesting. Take a look at this. After the announcement of the Smash Ballot, several indie developers, including WayForward, pushed for their fans to vote for their characters in Smash 4. WayForward even showed some of the possible alts for Shantae in Smash as part of their lighthearted campaign. And it's really cool because they were cool about it, but at the same time, they showed that they were enthusiastic. They were willing to put in that work, and I feel like that's something that Sakurai will find admirable for a developer to go so far as to saying, you know what, we have even ideas for alts. You know, we can work on models and whatnot. We, we we got you, man. We got you. The fans want her. We want her. All it is is up to you now. So, I mean, and I love the idea. You know, Shantae has always been a cute character from her inception. And, um, excuse me, her conception. Excuse me, I said inception. Conception. And um, I think she'd be cool. I really like the, um, I really, <laughs> I really like the uh, pajama outfit. It's really cute on her. Anyways, that's, that's the reason why I use that one for the thumbnail. I and mean, I didn't use her neutral one. But anyway, so um, looking forward. Um, everyone seems like they're pretty excited about Shantae being in the game, and what this guy Matt posted was really interesting. So when Bozon tweeted this out today, it came as quite a good omen for Shantae's supporters. While the first half of the tweet is just Bozon expressing his excitement, the second half of his tweet could be news for Smash fandom. Did Matt's tweet mean that everyone's favorite game genie hero is coming into Smash? Or is this just Mr. Bozon's way of getting people voting for Shantae? You decide based on the tweet below. And Smash Boys agree with me. It's all up to the interpretation of you as the viewer deciding on what this means. But so far, it's definitely a reason to get hype. So what apparently happened is on a stand where it showed the most classic Nintendo characters and gaming moguls in this industry that we have, and convincingly enough, all these guys are in Smash Brothers. Um, Link, Mario, Donkey Kong, you no know, Zelda, Mario, and then they show Shantae here on the side as well too. Shantae is an old gaming series, but I mean, still, the fact that she's like considered with these guys, she's right next to Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda, and Donkey Kong. These guys are iconic, and there goes Shantae right there, an advertisement for her game right along these guys. So it must have been a nice little warm surprise, no homo, for these guys at Wave Forward to be able to see that kind of thing because it makes you feel like you know what they really consider Shantae to be important some kind of mark you know I mean maybe it's not like a widespread thing Nintendo maybe it's not like a big ass thing but it's still something notable and I can understand where way forward is coming with this now here's where the controversy maybe like not controversy but like the, the excitement the anticipation may come in 
Uh, Matt said, wow, Shantae sharing space with gaming's greatest icons. Thank you very much, Nintendo of America. See you in Smash Brothers. Yo! <laughs> oh my God, dude. Does this mean that they're already they already have Shantae being developed for Smash Brothers, or does this just mean that they just want to get people hype? It seems like the latter, you know, they just want to get people hype, you know, at the end of the day. I'm sure no decision in terms of who's making it on the ballot has really been set in stone yet, but they just, they want people to get excited. They want more people talking about it. They kind of did what they are aiming to do because I'm talking about this once more, but the way that they went about it, man, like, oh yeah, we'll see you in Smash, man. We already got Shantae in the game. Like, oh man, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder, probably nothing that far. I'm being such a hype man right now, but still, this cannot go unnoticed by people who want her to be in the game. I want her to be in the game, I wouldn't mind. You know, King K. Rule, he would be cool as well too, but Shantae, man, she's a fresh character. She's nice on the eyeballs on top of everything else. I think she would work, but let me know in the comments what you think of this. Is this an indication that Shantae has already made it into the game through the ballot? Or just an indication that they just want people to be excited for her and to vote for her anyways. She and Smash may just be a hint towards them being so confident that she'll win the ballot, you know what I mean? Maybe not that she's actually already in it. I'll talk to you guys, excuse me, that she already won it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.